Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading with me, Cindy. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do apologize for the lighting. It's been a rough morning. As I just explained to Aquarius who had their first video, I decided to change like one aspect of how I had things set up. And of course, when you do that, it changes everything. It's like a very elaborate ecosystem. And I changed one little thing and the whole thing went awry. I had to move the table here. So I'm, I'm not as sweaty as I was for Aquarius's video, but I apologize. This is not how it's gonna stay, but it just got to the point where I was getting frustrated and nothing was working. I thought, I just need to make these videos. This is such an important week this week because I'm pulling away from, you know, just doing the tarot and having, you know, messages come out. And a lot of the messages that come out um, are often relationship based. Sometimes they're like career based, but, that is because I allowed the message to be sort of fed by the energy of those coming into the reading, right? Like energy is mutable, time is not linear. So that's how it works. And it really does seem to work that way, whether you believe it or not. But what I wanted to do, and I did more of this in the summer, was um, more spiritual based readings. So I'm pulling out my uh, Shaman Oracle deck. Uh, I did put them away for a while because I was using it a lot and I just felt like it was time. They needed to go have a little rest. That energy, those messages needed a little rest. Um, I had such a strong desire that these needed to be pulled out like halfway through the week last week. But I couldn't do that because I had a plan for how I was going to do the readings and I needed to follow through with everyone. So what we're doing, um, Pisces is we are investigating what it is on a spiritual level that it is time for you to move away from. And then what it is that is time for you to move forward. Now, I've pulled out your Shaman Oracle cards already in like a pre-shuffle before making this video. And as I explained to Aquarius, since I got the new camera, the video quality is so high, it takes a long time to upload the videos. About a 20, 25 minute video takes me about an hour, 40 minutes to upload. And I do three a day. If I get into 30, 35 minutes, which I have done, um, it can take close to three hours for one video to upload. That's a long time of coming back and checking and checking and checking. And then something paused out and I have to start all over again. I don't, I'm really trying to avoid that. I am not the most technical person. I am an artist, a spiritual nut job. I just say that. I just like to have fun, right? Like, um, very intuitive. So... Let's get started. Um, let's just get started. Pisces, you have a very interesting message here. I am going to be pulling out tarot cards to get more clarification in the messages for you. And I'm also going to pull out at the end a uh, journey of love oracle card for you. Now, you have a very interesting message, Pisces. So the energy, the, the cycle that you're being asked to move away from right now is the upper world. The upper world energy this is the area where you go for spiritual guidance this is the area where all of us go upon death as they say as the shaman says in the in the book that this is where we go this is that light that we go into um and i like to say to do your kind of like your it's not really an examination as it is um a recap of this lifetime and how it went and you know things that you did really good things you could have improved on it's kind of like uh, um, what are those I haven't had one of them in so long since I've stopped being in the technical work world um, but when you have uh, with your boss um, you sit down and you get um, the word I'm also fighting a head cold so it's been a really rough morning you guys know what I mean a review <laughs> That's it. When you get it, it's kind of like that. That's what this this place is. But this is energy that you all have been working on. Now, Pisces is very spiritual. Pisces is probably one of the most spiritual signs in the zodiac and has often many Pisces that I know have just an abundance of spiritual guidance and spiritual guides around them that they're connected with. You are being asked to pull a little bit away from this right now. And you are really being asked to go earthbound. It's quite an interesting message. So you're you're being asked to remove your energy, your process, your cycle from this upper world. And you have the hunter card is where you're being asked to move towards. The hunter. 
This is one who is a keeper of the earth. This is one who is one with the earth and understands the importance of being the hunter, that the hunter only takes one. One of what I need, and often the hunter does take the best. If the hunter, the human hunter does not work like a typical predator, an animal predator might. The animal predator will take the weakest and the slowest. The hunter takes the best, but one, but one. Because I know, you know the best is going to have the most protein in the meat for you to get through the winter, so you only need to take one. It's going to have the best hide, so if you are going to keep your children warm with the hide of that bear, now this is all um, like figurative, right? Like some of you might actually be going hunting, right? Some people who live in the northern areas or um, even in the south, but you know, like this is what you're being asked to do is to really look at what it is around you that you, what is it that you really want? Uh, some of you I'm feeling have been uh, very preoccupied in your spiritual journey so much so that you've forgotten the connection that you have in this three-dimensional aspect of your journey because you're here for a reason you're on earth for a reason you know we're all going back <laughs> we're all going back here you don't need to be in this energy a long time all the time otherwise you might as well just be dead and be there <laughs> it's just not it's not earth and that's where we are it's three-dimensional it's getting into the three-dimensional aspect of yourself and really harnessing it. Um, the under the underlying energy, the card at the bottom of the deck, is the Earth Keeper. Isn't that amazing? That's so amazing, Pisces. Is the Earth Keeper. And the Earth Keeper is that, that person which honors and protects and looks after and nurtures every living thing on the planet not just animals, plants, insects, but also people around you, around us. So you are really being asked to pull away from this spiritual connection and start connecting very three-dimensionally with all those around you. But yet there is something for you with this hunter card because the hunter card is telling you that there's something to be acclaimed. There's something to be gotten. Um, it's one magnificent thing, right? It's some, It's like the best of the best. But you've got to get into that very three-dimensional mind of, uh, and thinking to get it. So let's, let's start pulling out the tarot. I am using my Ethereal Visions tarot deck. It's a brand new deck. It's just, I love it. It's very Art Deco, which is... As a, an artist, that is my favorite period of time. I could just go back in time and live that period if it wasn't for the war stuff. The Seven of Wands. Interesting. The Seven of Wands has come out just as I'm shuffling here right now. I love all the gold reflection. I have to just do it. The Seven of Wands has come out, and I'm putting it in between. Where are you being asked to move your energy away from? To where you're being asked to go to? The Seven of Wands, for me, is often about finally being on that higher ground. Finally being on that higher ground so that you can have a better perspective as to what it is that maybe frustrates you or you feel a little bit combative towards or defensive on. You need to, to get, right? Like, get this person is coming out, I feel like the clouds here, and being grounded, the, being on the ground. The higher ground, you can't achieve the higher ground if you're in the heavens. That's not the ground. That's like the highest element, but it's not the ground. There's a, a, a very strong message about this grounding period for you and this connection very three-dimensionally. What specifically is uh, Pisces needing to move away from? What is, why is this upper world? Why does Pisces specifically need, need to move away from this upper world? 
Well, three cards have come out. Interesting energy. Well, the tower, there's a tower here. And without towers, tower moments, we can't have growth and move forward. This person falling from the tower is wearing a mask. They're wearing a mask. You know, I feel too that from, for some of you, the spiritual journey is something that you may not express or you know talk about in your day-to-day -day, that this isn't you know your journey that it's um it's being kept a secret here and it it needs to not be as well you need to bring this down to the three-dimensional this tower moment needs to come down it needs to bring you and your spiritual life down to the three-dimensional and that mask needs to come off when you hit the tower now we have the Knight of Wands as well. I find this to be a very interesting night. If the camera would focus on it. Thank you. There we go. This is the only knight in this deck as I went through the deck that you can't see his face. The Knight of Wands. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's a passion here that needs to be explored. And you know, it, they both have a mask on. Both your cards, the people are wearing a mask. The, the person falling from the tower is wearing a mask. And this Knight of Wands is wearing a mask. There's a passion here that is within you that is really, I feel like it's not being explored. It's not being explored. Um, and it's a very three-dimensional passion. It's a very three-dimensional passion. With the Seven of Pentacles, I feel that it's going to bring you some abundance. It's going to bring you on that path of really knowing when to choose what's right for you, when to make that, that sort of harnessing divine timing, harnessing that divine timing with your spiritual journey in the three-dimensional right now. What comes in with this Knight of Wands? What comes in with this Knight of Wands for Pisces? What comes in with this Knight of Wands for Pisces? Oh, wow. The Six of Wands. So we're continuing that fire energy for you. Victory here. There's a victory waiting for you. This is how these cards are sitting on the table. There's the wands for you are stacked up. The seven of wands, trying to get that clarity, trying to, to, to understand and have the higher ground and to really see. To see into yourself, your desires here. What is this you desire? Because there's something here and you need to take your mask off. You need to take your mask off and really explore it. There's two masks. It's very interesting with the tower moment and this knight of wands having their faces covered. But now this person's face is open. You can see them clearly. You can see their face clearly and they stand in victory. It does feel like there's something that perhaps you are shy or um, cautious about sharing with the world. But it feels like it's time for that to come out because it's going to help. It's just your earth. You're the earth keeper right now, right? You're the earth keeper right now. So it's everyone. It's not just the fauna, the animals, the mammals, the reptiles, birds, all of that. It's the people too, the, like everybody, the, the planet. So let's get one more card for the earth keeper. One more card for Pisces for their earth keeper energy. This card turned right around. Ooh, the Hierophant. Wow. You're going to make a difference in institutions, I feel, too. How institutions are run, understood, expressed, valued. Even changing the value system within institutions. Because this is something that has to constantly 
evolve and cycle through. If we think about what institutions were like, well, um, I just need a quick drink of water. What institutions were like when my mom was a kid? Um, she's 60 something. I'm not going to give it away totally. She's probably be mad at me, but she's um, retired. She's 60 something. And like, so here in Canada, they had um, the mental institutions. If a woman was having, you know, like bad menopause or depression, she went to the mental house. That was an institution. Um, the kids got the strap back then at school, right? So these change and evolve. And I feel like you have the energy. You're being asked to really get three-dimensional here. Because this is the sort of stuff that needs to change. It's going through a cycle change again. We're going through another cycle change in some of this institutional um, energy that exists here on Earth. And institutions also look after animals and fauna, governments, parks recreation, schools, churches, hospitals, like everything, government buildings. So there's really, it's three-dimensional time, Pisces. It's really three-dimensional time for you guys. Um, the Journey of Love with this book, I'm going to read you like the excerpt, excerpt of what comes to you from this card with the Journey of Love. I haven't memorized the whole ooh, Oracle deck on this yet. Ooh, the breaking. Ooh, I get a really strong message with this without looking at the, the book. Oh, I'm covering the number too, sorry. The breaking. I feel like, yeah, like there's a cycle. There was a system here and you're coming in with your paintbrush and you're changing the direction of the swirl. Really changing the direction of the swirl, Pisces. Let's read that in the book, and I do need my glasses. I have an eye appointment tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Getting that age. 65. Not, no, I'm not that age. Um, the breaking. This oracle brings compassionate guidance that no matter what sadness or anger, despair or frustration you may feel, you are being pulled apart not by dark forces, but by the loving embrace of the divine. As it strips you of that which would keep you from your divine realization, let go and break. It is going to be the making of you. Wow. I think that is pretty cool. Wow, oh, everything looks a lot clearer with this on. Um, wow. To get that with this card too, the breaking of you, coming out of this upper world energy right now, coming out of it, get ready, get ready, because you know, the tower moment is a big change, a big wow, a big oh my gosh, you can make the tower moment, or the tower moment can be made by people through energies of the universe for you, but something is needing to change here, Pisces, because yeah, there's, you know, and just the way this Hierophant card is here, I feel very strongly like you're going to be changing some of the structures and um, perceptions of some types of institutional type places for us and the breaking is this is going to be the making of you it may even feel like like maybe you're hesitant to really get three-dimensional with some of this right now because it just feels like it's so heavy it's so heavy it's but um yeah go with your desires on this because you have victory in it. There's victory here for you. And I think there's victory for your community and the world. What a beautiful message, eh, Pisces? I love that. I really love coming into doing the spiritual readings again. And um, I don't know if you heard, I got like a bird thing playing in the background. If you heard it, I hope you enjoyed it. Just kind of make it very like mm, kumbaya. So, and I will continue to work on the lighting and the setup and yeah, I don't even know if I can get it the way it was before, but anyway, there we go. So thank you so much, Pisces. Um, I hope you enjoyed that message. I think it's a great opportunity for you. And until next time, guys, be very gentle with yourselves. Bye.